1,000 years ago. Superstition and the sword ruled. It was a time of darkness. It was the age of gargoyles. Frozen in stone by a magic spell for a thousand years. Now the spell is broken, and we live again! Defenders of the night. We are gargoyles. Welcome, everybody. One thousand years ago, it was an age of gargoyles. I've been so excited to play this game. I never even played the original. <clears throat> you guys here and see me okay? Let's see if I still know how to stream. <laughs> it, it's been well no it hasn't been a month yet because i after i got married i streamed so <laughs> we live again yes nightbird thank you for the 23 months of membership yeah it was weird not streaming man i in all honesty like i've been back since um monday last week which i i wanted to stream last week i just couldn't I just couldn't. It was the the jet lag was crazy. Like I was, because we, we were in California, and Mexico, so the time difference was insane compared to Florida. When we came back on our on our trip, um, it was we left uh, LAX in Los Angeles at like 9:30 p.m. The flight and try to calculate this. It's weird because of the time zone. So we're 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 going this way back home. So we left at nine, let's say 9 p.m. The flight was like four hours. And when we got back here, it was like 5 a.m. So we like lost an entire night in four hours. And I, I was fucked up all week. Like I would be falling asleep at like seven o'clock at night, every night. It, it just, it sucked. Um, but that's the reality when you travel and there's like a lot of time zone differences, it, it messes you up for a while. So I was like, you know what? Next week we'll start fresh and, and 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 do it, do it that way. I literally, yeah, I literally time traveled. <clears throat> it's nice being able to catch up though. I wanted, to, I was gonna continue with Pokemon, but I was like, ah, you know what? Gargoyles came out. It'll be something fun. It'll be a one streamer. Um, but yeah, the trip was, <sighs> the trip was too long. Like I, if if I in retrospect, like yeah, it was fun, but like. I, I wish we would have. My, my my wife feels the same way. Like we wish we would have done like half the trip, because it, it was just too long. Like halfway through the trip, we were just like, "Man, we're ready to go home. Like this is too long." But uh, it, it was fun otherwise. And I have not finished Assassin's Creed Mirage. Spider Man Two came out. I've been playing that like crazy. I love it. So yeah. Um. This, oh, by the way, for those that haven't been keeping up with the community. Uh, notes and all that the community updates uh we, we're on a different schedule right now i have been if you've been on the streams you know i've been pondering the idea for from now through the end of the year i'm going to experiment with this and see how it goes um we're back on three streams a week but i did change friday instead of friday we're on thursday it's just because i, I want to use the weekend to spend time with my family and stuff so we're going to do mondays wednesdays thursdays 7 p.m same time, we just added a Wednesday, swap Friday for Thursday. Although next week we will be doing Friday because the Modern Warfare 3, I think, comes out. So I do want to stream that, but that's an exception. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern from now on until further notice. Let's see how it affects it. I, I wanted... What, what kind of spurred me, and we'll get started in a second here, but what kind of spurred me to go ahead and do it is because I, I was looking at the numbers, right, th while I was gone this whole time. And it wasn't all that much different, and I haven't been creating video content. So to me, uh, what, what that kind of kind of symbolizes is that YouTube really, I, I think I'm right about this. YouTube, and I'm not the only one that says it, but YouTube's really kind of putting, putting the, uh, putting long form videos kind of on the back burner, you know? 
and more focusing on live content. Um, not that I'm not going to make any more videos. It's not happening. I'm still I'm working on one right now. Um, but we're we're gonna we're gonna primarily focus on the streaming. And then video content will come once or twice a month at most. We're going to experiment with that and see how it goes. And Ozzy, thank you for the gifted membership, which went to Michael Labrador. Thank you very much. Let me jot you down. Out of curiosity, has anyone played this game? I've been watching this show all day, by the way. This morning, I was like, you know what? I'm streaming Gargoyles. Let me watch the show. It's so good. I love this show. What we're going to do, let's try to do two playthroughs. We're gonna we're gonna start with the remastered graphics and then which uh, honestly I don't think they look that good. It looks kind of like a flash game, but uh, like a mobile phone like Adobe Flash game. We'll we'll start with the remastered graphics and when we finish we'll we'll do it again with the classics, classic graphics. <clears throat> kind of want to watch the show. It's so good. It's on Disney Plus. Uh, oh wait, hold on. What? Easy, medium, hard, or original? I wonder what. I wonder what original means. I, I guess we'll do original because I want it. I want to experience it like it was on the Sega Genesis. Let's try. I guess we'll try that original. I don't know where it falls on this. Maybe that means extra hard. I don't know. We'll do original. That's my gift for getting the platinum in Spider-Man 2. Nice. I have one trophy in that game and I've been playing it like crazy. I don't know why I only have one trophy. It's a really good show, but Goliath Chronicles was terrible. What was Goliath Chronicles? Is that like the final season or something? Whoa, wait, what the hell is this? No, I want the remastered graphics. How do I do it? Oh, wait a minute. How do I do the remastered graphics? Oh, these are... Okay, so enhanced. I thought they were talking about just the difficulty. Original just takes you to the original game. All right, we'll do enhanced hard. We'll see how that goes. It's got rewind save states. 994 AD, Viking sorcerers have created an artifact of incredible power and evil, the Eye of Odin. That was actually in the show, wasn't it? Mad with power, Viking invaders over in Castle Wyvern. Level one, evil awakens. God, I mean, they were going through that real quick. Oh, this doesn't look too, this looks kind of cool. But yeah, the way it moves, like it's definitely like, it feels like a, a mobile flash game. I guess it plays just like the original. What are the controls? Well, it's Sega Genesis, so it should be just ABC. So we got hit, jump, and... What the hell is that? Let's look at the controls. Disney gearing up for live-action Gargoyle show? Yeah, they confirmed that, too. All right. Claw slash jump. <laughs> I read jump uh, slash flap. I read that as fap. Throw. Oh, you can toggle the graphics. Check it out. This is what the original looked like. Look at that. Oh, the music's different, too. Look. Is the audio okay? Why was he gray in the... He was gray on Sega Genesis. Look at that. That's wrong. Played it totally different. Oh, right, yeah. Like I said, we'll, we'll go through Remastered first. This gargoyle is voiced by Keith David. Oh, yeah. No, that's... He's legendary, man. Keith David, I, I always remember most fondly from The Thing and uh, Gargoyles. Like, that voice, man. When you hear him as Goliath, like, man, there could be no other Goliath. That's what... It's going to be weird if they... Do, like, if they need to have a voice live-action version. They need to do that. Because if he's not the live-action Goliath, I'm not interested. Look at this douchebag. Damn, I'm already at half health, man. Hard mode probably is really hard, too. Holy shit. Finish my Halloween games for the month. We're doing our Halloween. Uh, we're going to mix it up through all of, I think, all of Thanksgiving and all holiday season. We're just going to got all the games I want to stream on Halloween. Obviously, I wasn't here. But tomorrow, it's already Halloween. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Is there save states? Is this save state? Yeah, there is. And then Rewind is probably like, oh, it's L1 right here. <laughs> this is Rewind. You gotta love that Rewind. Damn! She killed me. Do I have lives? I don't know if I have unlimited... Oh, I think I do have unlimited lives. I have no idea if I have unlimited lives. 
Anyone know? Yeah, he did spawn too. I remember that. Man, I used to stay up late and watch that show on HBO. Way back in the day when HBO was just like a channel. And not a streaming service. How do I kill this person? Okay, I got them, but like, damn, man. It took all my hell. Holy shit. Thanks, killing. Like the movie tagline, gobble, gobble, motherfucker. I want to see that Thanksgiving horror movie coming out. I'm definitely watching that. I just... Oh, those spikes kill me. Oh, shit. Oh, I do have limited lives. Oh, let's rewind. Let's see how far back we can go. Oh, man. Not very far back at all. It's going to be rough. I took my uh, my daughter to see Five Nights at Freddy's. It's been getting really good audience scores. Honestly, I thought it kind of sucked. It wasn't scary at all. And the story I thought was all over the place. I don't know. I didn't care for it. This game's gonna be hard. Spawns on max in the entirety. I get, yeah, I gotta add that to my uh, list. I don't know if that's gonna hit. Ooh! Oh, it's this douchebag over here. Ah! Uh, here, let's drop a save. Gotta love those save states. Oh yeah. The Roman number by your life is life counter. I wonder if there's unlimited continues though. God, I hated that shit back in the day with games when um, you wouldn't have unlimited continues. Oh no. How are you supposed to? There's no block button either. <laughs> See? Like I, I take damage when I hit her. Well, let me see if I can figure this out. What? Why did I kill her one swipe that time? Makes no damn sense. There's shield down here. I don't know what any of this stuff does. There's, there's a crack here. I don't know what to do. After the banana splits horror movie, I'm not surprised. Oh yeah, they turned that into a horror thing though. I don't know. Oh! Like, it wasn't a bad movie, but most of the time, honestly, I was just kind of bored. But there was a ton of, like, middle school age kids there, like, cheering and shit. Like, it was definitely, the, the demographic, it was definitely there at the theater for Five Nights at Freddy's. And Ozzy, thank you for the 22 months of membership, and I got a trophy. Treasure. Cool. I used to watch this show back in the day. Show's amazing. Thank God it's not Superman. Oh, no, we're not done with Superman. Remember, we got the PS1 version still. I haven't forgotten, but I didn't want to uh, flood the streams with uh, Superman right away, you know? We'll get back to it. Die, Josh, they were 33 months. Who's your favorite gargoyle? Goliath. I like Goliath, and I like the dog. I thought he was cool. How did I break this? Oh, circle. There we go. But man, it's such a good show. It really was. And it was very adult, like, for the time period, it wasn't very kiddy either. Like, they say things like hell, too, in it, too. Like, uh, what is it, Xanatos? In one part, like, when he's paying all the people to move the castle to New York. Oh, shit. They're like, oh, uh, you know, they're scared, they think it's haunted, and he's like... He says something about if you pay someone enough to walk straight into hell. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Disney Channel. Let's drop the save right here. Me and my bro had figures of Goliath Hudson and Bronx. I have... I don't know where they are. I have two Gargoyles Funkos. I think it's Brooklyn and Hudson that I have. But they're hard to find. Like, I saw them at, like, a Walmart or Target once, and I grabbed them right away. But I've never seen them again, like any others. Goliath, I'm sure, goes for a ton of money. I want all of them. Fuck it, I'm gonna start watching it. Gargoyles? Yes, please. <laughs> you will not regret it. It's just... It, it was it was cool, man. It was like an original Disney Channel show. Like, it wasn't Aladdin or Lion King. It wasn't based on anything. It was completely original. And it was really good. And that, that was right up there with one of the great animated series of the era. Right alongside Batman, Spider-Man, and X-Men. Gargoyles was right there, man, in terms of quality. No joke. Borrego, I think 35 months. How about the new King Kong game? Oh, I want to... St I'm going to stream that at some point. 
I genuinely want to play it just to see how god awful it is. I just don't want to pay full price for that game. Because <laughs> I know it's. I, I, clearly, it's terrible. You guys saw the news that came out about it. <coughs> oh, God. Apparently, the developers. Um, they only got one year to work on it. Like, from beginning to end. From, like, beginning to release, one year. That's nothing. In terms of modern day game development, that is nothing. <laughs> but. Apparently, this uh, publisher is known for that. Like, to push their employees, like, with unreasonable uh, deadlines. So, that's that's partially why that game came out so bad. But I, I'm very uh, curious. Curious about it, to say the least. What the hell? Man? How am I supposed to walk through there without, like... What does it look like with the regular graphics? Oh, God, that looks even worse. Alright. <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to go through here without, like... See, look, I'm stuck here, so I have to jump over. Jump. Oh, sh oh, it's this asshole. Dick. I really want to finish Sass Cream Mirage. I gotta get back to that. I like it a lot so far. But so many. Again, this is a very busy holiday, like fall season for gaming. I just, um, I just downloaded Sonic. Uh, what Superstars or whatever the new one? Haven't played it yet. Downloaded it like five days ago. It's sitting on the hard drive. On the PS5. I got a Steam Deck I haven't had time to mess with. Um, I want to use it for emulation. And um, what else? Mario Wonder. I've been playing that with my kids. It's, it's very, very fun. To be fair, like, I don't know, man. Like, people say it's, like, one of the best Mario games. And it might be game of the year and all this. But I'm just like, to be real, it's just another Mario 2D game. Like, it feels like New Super Mario Brothers or Mario 3D World to me. Like, same shit. It's very good. It's fun, but it's like, it's a Mario game. They're all the same. <laughs> you go from point A to B, get some new power-ups, bounce on enemies. I mean, it's, it's not revolutionary at all. But I don't, I don't think it needs to be. It's still a fun game. It, it really is. I recommend it, but I, I, people, I think... I think a lot of people in the Nintendo fan base uh, very, very quickly uh, overly praise Nintendo stuff. See, look at this. In the original graphics, you would never know that's a crack in the wall. Look at that. You, you can't tell. Although, I'm not even sure how to break through. King Kong is a bad game. We'll play it on YouTube. I want to play the whole thing. I know it's bad, but in no way in hell I'm paying like 60, 70 bucks for it. No way. From when I gather Sonic Superstar is secretly Sonic 4. Oh, God. Let's go. Oh. Okay, I had to, like, double tap. <clears throat> Here we go. If I've been replaying MGS3 and I've been having issues trying to escape the fortress without being spotted while doing a no-kill, well, you know my, uh, my stealth technique. Kill everybody, and you've successfully, uh, <laughs> won in stealth mode. Oh, no, I'm, I'm gonna cheat through these. I don't want to get that fire on me. Die, humans! These are the traitors from the beginning of the show. I wonder if the Cyber Goliath is in this. See, in this game, too, it's weird because it was um, Sega exclusive, too. Like, this game never got a, a Super Nintendo port. You think it would have? See, I'm not clear on how I'm supposed to. Oh, there. It's kind of confusing how you're supposed to bust down walls. I'm getting my ass kicked. Oh, my lord. Hold on. There's a lot. There's a lot happening right now. <laughs> I got that axe. I'm saving. I don't like that axe lady, man. She's so powerful. The shield maidens. I guess they are. So is married life is super saiyan or whatever it's called. This is cracked up to me. I don't know. I just got married. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It feels the same. <laughs> I mean, we've been living together forever, I mean, so... It's nice and all, you know? And I freaking died. Come on, man, I'm rewinding. No, that's not fair. At least in modern day, I don't have to fight these bitches. I assume. Because they're just like shield viking ladies. I'm assuming they're not running around Manhattan, but... I'm sure they'll have some other end. What do they look like in normal? Right, let's look at the original graphics. Oh, they're hard to see. Look at that. They almost blend in with the background. 
Stop blocking. See, I think she's blocking. I think that's why. I don't know how to make her not block. May have to wait for her to throw her axe. I think that's when she's vulnerable, when she throws the axe. I hate you. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, suffered just like Superman 64. You know, it's funny, uh, I was laughing because in Spider-Man, in Spider-Man 2, you got the, the web arm pit things that make you glide, and there's parts of the city where you can go through like a wind tunnel. I shit you not, the Superman 64 rings pop up. And you could you could go through them. I saw that and I was like, no, they did not add Spider-Man 64 wings, the rings. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna skip that, lady. This is one of those games where you die every two seconds because there's something. Look at that, see? There, there's always something. Yeah, let's go back. I don't care. I'm using that rewind. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I want to go to modern day. Screw this part. Crap. Oh, good, she's dead. So I just had to grab her. Aw, oh, you son of a bitch. Here. See, can I not hit upwards? I don't think I can. I swear I didn't even hit him. But whatever. I'm saving. <laughs> Screw that. I want to play Spider-Man 2 so bad, but the last no PS5, it's so good. It's so good. Literally for days, I've been playing that nonstop. I really like it a lot. And I love that you can seamlessly switch between Miles and Peter. Through, through most of the game, there's some parts, obviously, that are, like, you know, scripted for one character over another. Alright, I'm just gonna run up and throw her. See, why can't I do it? See, see. I think throw. See, I think throw is that meter that I had when it was blinking. This would have been like twenty. This would have been like Sekiro levels of death so far. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Oh my god, I hate you. They're so obnoxious. I don't know what to do. If anyone has any tips and tricks on how to kill these shield maidens, you're welcome to chime in. Anything I'm doing is not hurting her. I, I think when I kill them, I just get lucky. No joke, like the hitbox in this game is weird. Too bad they don't have the Lex laugh in this game. I never want to hear that Lex laugh again. <laughs> I hate him. All right, let's run through. Anyone have any interesting uh, Halloween plans? I'm just taking my daughter to her tree. No, I'm leaving. I'm not even gonna fight. Not not the shield ladies. If I if I can escape. Here. I couldn't even double jump. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, there's something up there. Let me get what's up there. Oh, cool. I guess I got an extra life. <laughs> the question is now, how the hell do I get back? Oh, do I really have to climb all the way back up? This is BS. Can you stomp attack them? I don't know. Mike Matei is seething with the save states. Oh, what? He doesn't use them? I don't know. That, that sounds like a Mike Matei problem, not a me problem. <laughs> you know what? If they're programmed into the game, it's not cheating. Cheating is only when you enter uh, cheat codes. That's it. Why? I don't know how to get back up. God. Now I'm stuck. I think it was this way that I went. Yeah. Did I... See, this is why I shouldn't have gone off path. Maybe I can just climb up here. I feel like I'm playing Castlevania uh, Symphony of the Night. And I'm, I'm like scaling the outside of the castle. Most gamers are so ungrateful to have multiple lives, not you. Not anymore. Yeah, that back in the day, freaking 
That was one thing I ruined games back then, when you had limited lives. Like, you hit a game over, it's like, oh, you're screwed. Okay, see, I'm on this side now. This is, this, see, this is the problem with going back and getting an extra life. Now I'm, like, stuck. Did my time with limited live save states for me. Yeah, there you go. We did our time in that era. Um, I, I guess I'll go back here. I don't, I don't see anywhere to go. Oh, shit. It's a labyrinth. Okay. Maybe I just climb all the way back up here. Oh. Oh, here we go. There's a little entrance. It's hard to tell, like, where what I can cross here and what I can't. <clears throat> Mammatized kind of guy tells people you save states they're playing the game wrong and are not real gamers. Well, yeah, like I said, that sounds like a Mike Matei problem, not a me problem. I, I do what I want. <laughs> End of story. Okay, I, I think I think we're back on track. I just had to go through a couple walls there, a couple walls of BS. I'm gonna keep watching the show tonight when I get off. So good. Okay, good. Duh! Yes. Defeated. I wonder how long this game is. I don't think this game was long. It was the second game. It can't be. Or more it was the second platformer. I think it's cool that they're remaking these Disney games, man. Because even like the Lion King and Aladdin one, I have that one. I haven't played it. I know they have the collection of the Jungle Book now too. Wish I would have gotten that one. Busting this whole castle down. Have you played Dead Cells Return to Castle? Media? No, I have it downloaded, but I haven't played it yet. I want to. There's so many games I'm behind on right now. Just there's so much stuff. Like this has been. This is the busiest gaming year. What the hell, man? Let me rewind. This has been the busiest gaming year in a long time, in my opinion. Like, we've just had a lot of game releases. A lot of good ones, too. But even even, even among the bad ones, like, we've just had a lot of games. Fucking serious. The controls are kind of wonky, but I mean, it, again, it's a Sega Genesis game. Like, it's gonna be. Well, I grabbed her and I died. Let me see if I can grab her real quick. Oh, I can't stand them. I cannot stand them. Let's get that health back. <sighs> Your description says you're playing Superman 64. No way, does it really? Wait. D hold on, it can't. I see. Are you sure? Hold on, let me see. Guy, I updated that today. Unless I forgot to click save. <laughs> Let me check real quick. Well, you guys know I'm not playing it. I'm playing... Oh, God, wait. <laughs> it does say, hold on. I forgot to delete that part. I'm playing... Hold on. Alright, here. I'm playing the... Sega... It's false advertisement. Sega Genesis Classic. I'm trying to type with one hand. Gargoyles. Here, save. There we go. Superman 64 <laughs> has been deleted. Now, if you refresh it, it say, uh, the correct thing. No, we are not playing freaking uh, Godforsaken Superman 64 tonight. No way. I'm done with that game. 
I'm, I'm so mad that that game, like, soft-locked me right at the end. To the point where, literally, I, like, I couldn't beat it. I wasn't allowed to beat it, I should say. The game was like, no. You've played enough, you're not allowed to win. They stole my victory. It's cold as ice, man. <laughs> I came for Superman 64 and got gargoyles. Yes, yeah, so you got something better. <laughs> no ring challenges here. Oh my god. I like how they start me off right in front of them again. Oh, I cannot wait to get out of the, the, the past. I never want to fight the shield ladies again. Someone up there is about to dump uh, lava. Yeah. I don't know what that shield is. See, I don't know what these specials is. I have the flashing meter. I thought that was just throw. I'm not sure. Ah, uh, I've got lava in my face. Wesley, welcome. Castlevania 64 would be better. Castlevania 64 is fantastic. I've always defended that game. I genuinely like that game. Even the uh, unpolished, uh, non Legacy of Darkness version. I think they're both good games. I actually somewhat prefer the regular uh, Castlevania 64 over Legacy of Darkness, though. Because I, I feel like Legacy of Darkness, and, and it's this way by design, but I feel like it's too easy. They, they really toned down the difficulty on it on purpose. But it's too easy. Like, especially with Cornell. You play Cornell, and... See, I can't... I don't have room to double run there. If you pick Cornell and upgrade your, your little firepower blast as far as it can go, he's unstoppable. Now, if you die, it goes back to normal, but, like, you're not gonna die. Like, it, he's unstoppable once he's at that stage of power. That might have been invincibility. I have no idea. See, I can't get through there. Whatever. Trophy. Stop the invasion. Oh, cool. Did we kill them all? No, we didn't. Look. The game lied. The battle's not yet won. No! God, the jumping is wonky. The jump, it's like almost like delayed. Like when you press the jump button, it, it like takes Goliath a second to like get up off the ground once you press it. So when I'm trying to double jump, like the double jump feels very delayed. I had to like sit there, I had to like mash the button down. That was a common thing with the Sega controller though, I remember that. There. I don't know if it's the way it's programmed or what. Can't believe some people said that Richter was emasculated in the anime, but still I'm not surprised. I, I mean... Alright, here's my argument. Regardless of how anyone feels about Richter. It's season one, man. Like, look at Trevor. People said the same thing about Trevor in season one when Sypho showed up. Powerful. But, like, look at Trevor in season one compared to the last episode. Like, you gotta give these shows time to cook, man. Like, they... These people are writing stories that are lasting three to four seasons. Season one Richter is not going to be the same Richter that we're going to get later. We are by the end of the season, he's already like a much more powerful character. So it, it's season one. One thing I remember about Gargoyles is how great the villain Xanatos was. Yeah, I love him. And he's like, I, he acts like at the beginning like he's a complete good guy. Like he's just like giving the gargoyles their home. Because he's all, he's all selfless, I'm sure. It was a time of superstition and the soul. It was the age of gargoyles. Run! Okay. What? Again, what, what invasion was stopped? It's still going. How are you supposed to... What does it look like normally? Okay. Oh, 
Oh man, so I had to go like real quick. Ah, it's so delayed though. You can't do this quickly. Ah, there. That's rough, man. That jump, that's rough. Okay, here we go. Got that child to have some health. <clears throat> and the fact that he'd have complex plans where even if Xantos lost, he won, yeah. Uh, one of my favorite things is when he made those robo Goliath, the, those robo uh, gargoyles. Oh, wait. Oh, is that the dude? I think that's the guy that wanted them dead. I think, yeah, I think that's the guy from the show at the beginning that was like wanting to smash them while they were vulnerable. Alright, our first boss fight, I guess. Random, like, Thunder Man. Why does he have powers? Can I grab him? Let me try to grab him. Nah, let's not. Oh, here we go. We see the pattern. I hope I'm actually doing damage. Are you serious? Come on. No, no. Ah. <clears throat> Come on. That Goliath Iron Man suit he wore. He was like a Lex Luthor figure almost. And again, what's cool about it, as a reminder, like it's all original. Like, none of that's based on anything. They did have a Gargoyles comic book run, though. Oh my god, look at him vibrating! <laughs> Holy shit, that, that's so violent. I want to see what that looks like in the regular graphics. Yeah, look at him, he's cooking. That's so gruesome. The Viking army invaded the Rookery in a savage attempt to destroy... You can't read it. I can't rewind it either. It's so quick, you can't read that that quickly. The second, the second I, I landed, I died. The hell is that? Still want Disney to bring back the old Aladdin TV show? Oh, that was a good show. I remember, did they not have a Lion King show? I remember a Lion King show. Let's see what this looks like in regular graphics. Yeah, it looks about the same. <laughs> Great, thank you for the five dollars. Hope your honeymoon was good. I'll be checking out in a few. Lions pissing around when he's all playing. Unfortunate sports fan. Well, I appreciate uh, you stopping by, man. Thank you. And yeah, honeymoon was a good time. A little, a little too long, but good time regardless. Oh! Oh, can that hurt me? I mean, I'm a gargoyle. Oh, man. Come on. Fire can hurt me? How confusing this all looks. If it ain't hard or confusing in any Disney game, yeah. Back then, there were so many good Disney games back then, though. Like, you had uh, Capcom and Virgin Interactive were the ones really putting a lot. At Sega, it was... Um, I, I think the, the, the deal was... Because I think this one's Virgin Interactive, too. And so was uh, Lion King and Aladdin on Sega. But um, I think on Super Nintendo, it was Capcom developing them. And... Um, in Sega, you had Virgin Interactive. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, I can climb the ceiling. Gargoyles. Uh, for this week, so Pokemon, we're going to stream on Thursday. Uh, stream number four. I don't... Does anyone remember what badge I left off? I left off the Marsh badge, right? I think it was the sixth badge. I really don't remember. I, I The last stream was like over a month ago. <laughs> but we'll get back to it. But... Uh, uh, that's gonna be a third Wednesday. Wednesday, we're gonna play Robocop. I'm gonna get the Alex Murphy edition, which technically uh, I, could, I, I could play it tomorrow, but it's Halloween. I'm taking my kids to the uh, So we'll be playing it on uh, one day early before release. So we'll be playing it on uh, Wednesday. I'm excited, man. 
Robocop Rogue City. Can you glide? You can do this. You can do a double jump. That's what they limit to you. They limit you in this game. I'm sure there were costs that come with traveling you can't really anticipate. Surprisingly, it did come out. We spent less than we thought we were going to. But my whole thing, like, what? I kind of wish we wouldn't have done the cruise part. Because we, we, we've done a lot of cruises, like, in the Caribbean, in Mexico. But, uh... We wanted to leave from California to see something different, but that part, the parts of Mexico we went to, it, it was not good. Like, we went to Ensenada and uh, Cabo San Lucas, and it's, there's nothing out there, man. It's just desert and a bunch of people, like, harassing you down the street asking you for tips and money. Like, it, it wasn't good. That's why I was like, I, we, we went to California, spent a couple days there, we were at a... The Disney California Adventure and went to Disneyland. That was really fun. But yeah, the cruise part is just like, I, I could have done without it. I'm getting killed by these assholes. Severe, what's up, man? Long time no talk. I saw a couple of your streams pop up when I was on the cruise, but I had internet, uh, but my data kind of sucked. So it was like unwatchable. Like, you, you have internet on, on the cruise, you can. And I paid for, like, the premium internet, but it, it still sucks. It's not good. Oh, wait. What opened? This is one thing, man, about, like, old games. Like, the level design... Like, games were so short back then. The only way they would extend it was by just making levels these big-ass labyrinths. That's what this is, I can tell already. I assume something down here opened. Oh, here we go. I'm so tired of those ladies. I'm leaving. Look at that, look at them, look at them throwing shit. Throw this. Look at that. I, I kill everyone there, and just the one lady, she'll, she'll, she'll get the kill. It's not clear on, like, when the, like, when they're vulnerable. I, like, you notice sometimes I hit them, like, 28 times and they live. And other times I'll, like, smack them once, like, in the corner of the head, and they'll die. Oh, look at that background. That looks cool. Oh, it even looks kind of cool in the original graphics. Look at that. Looks all hellish. All right, now if I can figure out how to kill her. I can't stand you. Endless. Hope you had a great time and got some res. Yeah, last week, I, I pretty all week I was resting. It was just, it, it was so much, like the jet lag was unreal. It was funny, too, because we, when we got back, first thing we did was hit up Denny's, because we, we hadn't eaten in hours, and Denny's was the only place, like, open in 24 hours. So we got home at, like, 7-something a.m., and I was like, I feel fine, actually. And then, like, in an hour, like, I was knocked out hard, and I woke up at, like, 2 p.m., and I, I was in such a daze, I was like, what, what year is it? I was like Kyle Reese of Terminator 1, freaking out, like, what year is it? Where am I? That was all week, all week, like, falling asleep early and some days really late. It was, it was all over the place. <coughs> Viking axe throwing, bitch, added to the list. 100%. There we go. I rode camel walls out there. We went, like, a, uh, ATV riding in the desert, and then the, there was, like, a tour where you get to ride a camel. Um, <laughs> yeah, I rode a camel. Like, it sounds cool, but once you're in the camel, like, we were on it for, like, 20 minutes, and we were just like, okay. Like, I'm not doing this again. <laughs> Literally, you're just like, it was cool, like, you're riding a camel, but you're just like, you're like this. For, like, 20 minutes, moving so slow, and you're like, this is fun, I guess. I'm riding a camel. I didn't know. I, I didn't realize how big those monsters were, though. 
and uh, we also went to some like uh, some tour place where um, you could pet baby lions. They had lions and tigers. I went in the room with the baby lion. It, it looked like Simba from the beginning of the movie. It was cute, man. It was a big cat. It was like crawling all over me. It was like a giant kitten, literally. Uh, you could also go in the room with like two like teenage tigers, but I was like, no, fuck that. That's crazy. Uh, I, uh, the party we were with, they, they wanted to, but then, like, one of the ladies at work there went in to, feed, like, to, to, like, calm them down. And the first thing they do is, like, start jumping all over her. They were being playful, but it's like, uh-uh. When she came out, like, I saw she had, like, scabs and scratches all over her arm. And I was like, nope. <laughs> Not doing that. Like, th there is limits to adventure. <laughs> so, I'm good. I'll, I'll play with the baby lion. Two teenage tigers? No. One gets hungry and I, I become lunch? No, thank you. Yeah, we stupid good in there. What? Do I do this? Or is that killing me? Yeah, here we go. Labyrinth games. Oh, wait. Hold on. I think I could swing off this. See, in these games, sometimes you gotta put the regular graphics on to, like, get an idea of what you're supposed to go. See, but, like... I guess that time it's where, like, the other one's closed. You're riding a camel like Bayek of Siwa. I was. Yeah, but like I said, it was so slow. We're like, alright. Now I can say I rode a camel, yay. <laughs> it was not exciting at all. Oh, shit. No, this is, cr no, this is crazy. What is this? No, these controls were not made to be doing this, like, accurate level of platforming. I'm sorry. It was not. 90s game development bullshit right here. I'm rewinding like crazy. I, I'm saving right now. I don't know how I made it up there. I was literally just, like, pressing double jump all over the place. Terminator, I finished Resistance all side quests. Had a great time during the whole finale. Was that finale not amazing? Oh, so you did, did you do the DLC? The, uh, Annihilation line? Because that also ties into the movie. And it's really cool how it does. Annihilation line's absolutely worth it. Yeah, I can't wait to play Robocop, though. That's gonna be awesome. Robocop. Rogue City. <laughs> Maybe streaming skills are rusty. I was worried too when I started streaming again. I was like, man, like, what if I forgot how to do stuff? <laughs> like, how do I stream? What? Like, am I gonna remember how to start the stream? <sighs> I want. Th what? This platforming sucks. How do I get down? There's like a wind thing here. I'm gonna throw you. Oh, I hate you so much. I don't know how this throw works. I'm pressing it. But it's like, it's not... It doesn't grab her. I'm throwing you in the lava. Screw you. Here. Lava. Oh my lord! Grant thank you for another five. My seven pound house cat, if she wanted to, could wreck my day. I'm not messing with something that could end my day. Yeah, well, like I said, there's two tigers. It was two tigers simultaneously. They look like teenagers. And the lady's like, yeah, they're friendly. They're just playful. And it's like, I, I saw the way they, they jump on her like babies. And she was like trying to push them down, to calm them down. And, and people were waiting to go in there too and they ended up like changing their mind and going to the baby lions because the baby lions were just like little kittens like and their paws were like big and squishy it was cool but no the two tigers hell no <laughs> the lady that worked there mind you this is like in the butthole of mexico where there's like no rules <laughs> or regulations so who knows what can happen <laughs> but uh yeah, no, she, she, I looked at her as she walked by me and she had 
you could you could tell she had old scars all over her arm. And I was like, no thank you. <laughs> That's how she got him. Tigers. I don't know how to... Okay, I, I assume now I gotta go back this way. Guess I can swing on that. I have no idea where to go. Build the baby lion like Rafiki. At first I was kind of scared to even pick it up. Eventually I did, but it was just like rolling around. Like I tried picking it up and then it just like rolled. <laughs> it just rolled away. Like it was playing with this big ball of yarn. So you're gonna restream Arkham Knight just use new patents and skin even no, no. I, I, I will never, never get uh, those Riddler trophies ever again. I'm do I grab that? Look at this shit. I don't know if I'm supposed to grab that up there. I don't remember this part of the show. Wow, look at this shit. I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm trying to rewind and go back here. Here. I'm sitting right here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I just feel like I'm lost. She had the Street Fighter Zangief scars? Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm not looking to have those. It's all good. To be honest, part of you wanted to keep it so you'd have a card line? Oh, I wanted to. Yeah, I would have absolutely kept it. It was a girl. Yeah, they had the girl lions. So she would have been a huntress. Hey, Cadigan, I know you play a lot of these classic games. Have you played this? I don't know where they want me to go. You just got Cage? Welcome. Oh, look. Wait. I climbed. Like, there's no sense of direction in these old, like, uh, Disney games. You just have to just, like, go somewhere. And hope you're walking the right direction. Okay, see, I must have to go here. But, like. <laughs> I'm right there. But there's this, like, air vent here, which I assume I have to close. Oh, it just closed, and I just got killed because it... Oh, I think it just closed temporarily. Yes, son of a bitch. Alright, alright, here. Real quick. Oh my god, that was annoying. Okay, so I just have to go right there. I don't know if I have to replay this whole thing again with my other graphics. We can just keep swapping back and forth. We'll see how we feel by the end. It's the same exact game, just looks worse. We'll see. I, I, I hope the modern day sections are not like this. Because this is very confusing, in, like, just generally speaking. I see, I think this is the same shit. This is gonna close the vent or something. Oh, it closed it for like a split second. I think I'm on the right way. The hell? Where, where am I? I'm like in this wall on the left. Let me rewind. I'm, just... I'm stuck. Look at this. Is this a glitch?
I'm stuck in the wall. <laughs> Gonna get this on Twitch play with my second controller? That'd be probably the best way to play it. Getting in late, what I missed? Deck card, welcome. Uh, you missed a lot of Labyrinth. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, this is one of those old Sega games where it's just a where the fuck do I go game. This has to be a glitch. Yeah, this has got to be a glitch. I don't, I don't think I'm supposed to be able to go in the wall. Well, gotta reload save state. Did I save when I got it? Okay, good. I saved when I came right here. There's no way Manhattan could be this uh, confusing. Oh no! Shield maidens. I want those chalices. I'll say this, this game has not aged well. <laughs> I don't think so. How did I beat this game when I was, I was a kid? I, I don't know. I never played it as a kid. I used to see it at my local rental store. I don't know why I never rented it though. But yeah, it's, it's very confusing. And it's clunky as hell, man. The, the combat and the jumping. You just kind of got to, like, button mash your way through it, I guess. Okay. Oh, I'm getting wind blowing me now. Okay, so I got to close that vent somehow. Did, man, anyone remember the Sega Genesis Jurassic Park games? Those were also where the hell do I go kind of games. Like, it was just like a jungle with ups and downs, and you had no idea where the hell you were going. The Sega ones were super hard. See, look, this is where I got stuck on that stupid wall. See, I wasn't supposed to be there. Mark your bingo cards for Fabian. Softlock the Sega Genesis game. Let's hope not. Let's hope it's not another Superman 64 situation. Where I get to a part where it's like, oh, can't win now. Yeah, definitely didn't. I replayed the original when the remaster trailer dropped and immediately said, never mind, I'll keep my money. Yeah, I originally I wanted to play through the, the remaster and then replay it again with the original graphics, but I don't know. Maybe we'll just do one playthrough and just switch back and forth to see what it looks like. Uh, but I, like I said, we'll see. It's just because it's the same thing again, all over again. At least they updated the soundtrack, too. But yeah, this is definitely not... I, I don't think this is one of the Disney classic games, man. Like, Aladdin on Sega Genesis, that game was legendary. Like, Aladdin on Sega Genesis was fucking cool. The Super Nintendo one was really good, too. That, that was a completely different game, though. That one was made by Capcom. But it was all... They were both really good. Maybe I'll do that one night. I'll have an Aladdin night. I'll do, like... I'll do both versions. Because they're both very good. I was obsessed with the Super Nintendo one, though, for a while. The second one I didn't actually own. I had uh, rented it a couple times, actually. Can't get up there. No, I see I'm not a big platforming game guy unless it's Mega Man. Yeah, that's how they made all these games back then. They were always platformers. But what I call labyrinth platformers. Because it's not like Mario. Because, you know, Mario's a platformer, too, back in the day. Like, 2D Mario. But, like, you always... See, here's the difference, though. With, like, Mario games, you always knew where you were going. Like, there was always a clear, like, path to go. These games, like this, you were... Again, it just ups and downs and lefts and rights. And you, you didn't know half the time, like, what you can interact with. Like, like look at this. Like, you didn't know half the time, like, where you could even go. I wish this this today. We'll grab it when it's on sale, so I know it'll be a while before I get it to you. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, 15 bucks right now, right? At least it's not a full price game, which, I, 15 is a good price. I think anything more than that would have been a little much. Even 20, I think, would have been a bit much. But I think 15 is reasonable, at least. 
Especially as it did put in some work, you know, doing a remaster instead of just like, you know, a, a, a standard re-release of it. So I gotta give him props for that. It's just honestly, like, the base game itself, I, I don't think it's very good. But it, it's common for like, you know, a little Disney platformer from back in the day. It's about what you'd expect. They had some hits or misses back then. Ah! See, oh my god, it's so rough. Oh, another boss, I think. I love the old graphics, they have a gothic vibe. Yeah, they look really cool. See, that's what he looks like in the original graphic. Oh, shit! Whoa, he turned into a big uh, monster man. That's what he looks like. Let's see the remastered version. It's like a giant He-Man. Are you serious? I think if I just keep matching squares, he's gonna die. Oh, I'm staying here. I'm gonna keep him. No! Did we kill each other at the same time? Oh no, that's his health on the right. He just disappeared. I'm mashing X. Or square. <laughs> it's working. Look at his health on the bottom right. See, sometimes outdated game design works. <laughs> Though the Viking army was routed, Goliath was blamed for Castle Wyvern's destruction. As punishment, he was cursed to sleep in stone until the castle rested above the clouds. He waits. I had to, like, speed read in order to catch all that. A thousand years later, Castle Wyvern was rebuilt atop a skyscraper in downtown Manhattan, above the clouds. He waits no longer. Level 3, stone and steel. Are none of the other gargoyles in this game? Like, it's just Goliath? There's more than just Goliath. It would have been cool if each character had his own level. They should have done that. <clears throat> you know be awesome a remaster of Quackshot? I love Quackshot. Quackshot is one of my top 10 uh, Sega Genesis games of all time. I genuinely love that game. I played that game so much. I had a friend. I never owned it. I had a friend that had it, and I used to love going to his house just to play it. All right, this is what it looks like. Ooh, this looks cool. Yeah, see, th this looks really cool. I feel, you know, this looks really nice right here, but like, I feel like there's something about the old Sega Genesis graphics that just, it just has a specific personality. I think it looks really cool. Because look at the city, how like, like, like colorful it looks. And then you go to the uh, remastered graphics and it's just like, look at that. Look at the city. Look at the background. Like, it's not even there. This looks like some like Streets of Rage or Batman or Robin kind of city. And then it's like, gone. Oh, I think that's the Eye of Odin. Museum of Ancient Artifacts. Whoa, what the hell is that? What are those? They're like bone creatures. What the hell? I have the 2-in-1 cartridge Quackshot Cap Illusion. Oh, I didn't know they had a 2-in-1 cartridge. It's cool there's gargoyles moving in the works. It's Well, from what I heard, it's supposed to be a series live action series I thought or is it a movie I, I heard it was a series for uh, Disney Plus I want a series I don't know what I can climb on or what I can't climb on this reminds me of Robocop vs. Terminator just the layout of the area See, look at the city. It looks so much better in the classic graphics. Yeah, lit up windows in the back are missing so the buildings don't pop. Yeah. It doesn't even look like they're there, though. Like, But, like, even most of the buildings are just not there. Okay. <clears throat> 
Pirate series also? Yeah, that's what I heard. Although I'd welcome a movie, but I, I don't know. I think with the series, you just have more story, you can tell. Hey, shoot him once in the legs. Um... Alright, I guess I go up here? How many- anyone know how many levels there are in this game? I don't even know, I didn't even look it up. The gargoyles. I live again! Oh, there we go. Whoa! It's like a sniper robot. I wanna see what it looks like. Yeah, that looks like something out of Terminator, uh, Sega CD game. Come on, man. Just let me kill you. See? Ugh, God, the hitbox is so wonky. It's like you gotta hit the enemy in, like, a very specific spot to damage them. It's not clear, like... Like, where exactly you're supposed to make contact. City background reminds you of Streets of Rage. It looks just like Streets of Rage. You're right. It's got that same, like, feel. I think you are that can electrocute me. Get the hell out of here. No! I didn't want to go all the way back down, man. Damn, that charge, like... Oh my god, look, there's like a dude like sleeping in here. Is he there normally? <coughs> He's just a guy. He's just some dude. Like, I'm chill. <laughs> you know what it is? You fall asleep while you're couch in the living room and you wake up in the middle of the night and you see Goliath just standing in front of your TV. That's awesome. And the Taku, thank you for the $10. Okay, I can't afford to fit the Gargoyles opening monologue in the super chat. All, all, you, all you gotta know is 1,000 years ago. I forgot how it goes. It was a world of superstition and the sword. It was a world of fear. The age of gargoyles. I don't even know if I got it completely right. It was something like that. I remember it was a world of fear and uh, superstition and the sword. It's something like that. I just love when he reawakens like, and we live again! I'm gonna start getting surrounded by minions. I remember I used to like Demona too. <coughs> she was a cool villain, like anti. I guess she was. She she never became good again, did she? I don't remember like what her status was by the end of the show. Stone by day. Warriors by night. Hey, Goliath is back to 90s nostalgia. Yeah, look here. Look at this. There's some 90s nostalgia right there. Some Sega Genesis. Whoa! <laughs> I just went through a couple people's apartments that I, I just completely damaged. <coughs> <sighs> Can't wait to stream Robocop. It's gonna be so cool, man. Great, now I gotta figure out like what windows I can interact with. Let's see how confusing this looks on regular. Yeah, it just looks like city. Low move in. Yeah, not in 2023. Inflation! Is the cartoon streaming anywhere? Disney Plus. The whole thing is on Disney Plus. I was watching it all day, just getting myself hyped up for this game. Yeah, the whole thing is on Disney Plus from beginning to end. It's awesome. What the hell, man? Where do I go? Can I can I break this shit? I can't even climb the. Goliath! Where do I go, Goliath? Anyone know where I'm supposed to go? Nothing's working. 
But can I like jump really high? Ha How would I have ever known that I could interact with that background item? You haven't had to do that before in this game. Okay, so there's like steam pipes that you can interact with. Okay. Metro something. I think that's so cool going through the building like that. Man, you know what game was really hard that I has anyone beaten that Spider-Man game on Sega Genesis? There was a Spider-Man game on Sega Genesis. It was just called Spider-Man. Actually, I think the official title of the game, the cartridge just said Spider-Man. But I think the actual title of the game was Spider-Man vs. the Kingpin. I could never beat that game. Half the time, I didn't even know what to do. And you had, like, uh, photo reels. You had, like, a certain amount of film in your camera. You'd take certain pictures of all the villains and stuff. I remember getting to the sewers and fighting the lizard. And, and then, like, not knowing what to do after that. That game was really hard. Oh, what the hell, man. See, this is the shit I hate about these old platformers. Like, if you fall... Those don't even look like lanterns. Like, if you fall, you go all the way down. Good thing we got rewind. <laughs> Fuck that game. Yeah, that game was hard, man. You never knew what to do. Like... Games back, I'm telling you. Like, kids nowadays have it good. Now games have waypoints and checkpoints. And, like, it show you exactly where to go. Like, play something like Assassin's Creed now. And it's got an arrow on the map showing you which way to go. If Assassin's Creed were made in, in, in the age of the 90s, they would throw you in this giant open world. You had no clue what the hell to do. You would just have to walk around and, like, look for clues. And, and, and most people would never get past, like, the first mission. Because they wouldn't even know where to go to do it. That's how it was back then, man. Thank you for playing this. I can save my 15 bucks. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's classic, uh, classic, old, outdated gameplay. <coughs> Gee, it's like a big red light orb. I, I bet Demona is the final one. Wasn't there, um, uh, what was her name? For anyone who's watched the show, what, the, the cop, the cop lady that's friends with them. Deckard, thank you for the two, two years membership now. I get the stars badge there. But yeah, those who watched the show, the cop lady, wasn't there a gargoyle that was cloned from her or something? Or did she get turned into a gargoyle or like she... I remember there was like a clone or something of her that, that was a gargoyle version of the character. Anyone know what I'm talking about? I think she was like... Like, 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 brown with horns or something. I, I vaguely remember, like, there was a story arc where... They had cloned a, a gargoyle based on, like, her DNA. Michael, welcome. How was the boat? Did you start your pirate empire? I did. I now have a fleet. Collecting treasures all over the world. Due to international uh, maritime laws, I cannot uh, pirate, though. <laughs> yeah. There. There. Oh, come on. Nope. Not accepting that. It was her stepbrother? Oh, what? Her stepbrother cloned her? Or? See, I don't remember a stepbrother. I just remember, like, a gargoyle that was, like, her. Oh, my God. You know, I might have to turn into the regular graphics. Yeah, look. You guys see what I'm talking about? Check this out. Oh, hold on. Did we get a gift of membership? Oh, yeah, we did. I'm, gonna, I'm about to show you guys the flaw of remastering an old game. All right. Gifted memberships from Mayo Peach. Got 22 months. Thank you for that. But Dead Card came in and gifted... A whopping five members to you just got caged, John, Garg Dargus, Formula, and Michael Labrador. Thank you very much. And oh no, Michael Labrador, you, 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 that was a comment. Juan Salazar, I gotta give them one. Thank you, Dead Card, very much appreciated. Uh, 
uh, Richter's telling the gargoyles that their monsters don't belong in this world, sadly. <laughs> yeah, check this out. Let, let, let me show you the flaws of remastering an old game on a modern console right here. And it causes issues in the actual gameplay. So, you see that lamppost? I can already tell you it's not accurate at all grabbing onto it and jumping from post to post. Like, it's weird. Notice, look at look at Goliath's hands. He's not grabbing it right there where it is. You want to know why? The top guy's here, comment. I'll get to it in a second here. But you see why? Check this out. Look when I flip back. When I flip back to the original graphics, that lamppost is a different spot. That's actually where it is. See? Look. So when you're grabbing it with the new graphics, it's off-center. So you, you have to play it in the original graphics to accurately grab it where it is. Because the game still recognizes the original position of the lamp. But the graphics change. Like, that's the flaw right there of remastering an old game with updated standards. But it is what it is. I, I gotta get through that platforming here. And talk, thank you for the $10. I rewatched an anime I think you would like. I mean, Big... Big O? I don't think I've ever heard of it. It's like a martial arts thing? Big O. No, I can't say I've heard of it. Her adopted brother was turned on hybrid? No, that's not what I'm thinking of. I don't think, at least. See, it's so... I, I gotta have the regular graphics for this part. Or else I'll never be able to grab those lampposts accurately. They're off-centered completely. There. Man, look at this one. This one's real bad. Hang on, let me get rid of these guys. Yeah, look at this lamppost. Get out of the way, man. I'm trying to do a show and tell here. Yeah, look at that lamppost right there to my left. Watch when I switch to regular graphics. It shifts completely to the right. See, look at that. Look at, look at his hands. His hands are grabbing the original graphics. It's ridiculous. Think mech suits with a storyline? Interesting. Sounds like a bunch of other anime. <laughs> mech suits with a storyline. That's a very uh, Japan thing. Which is always cool, to be fair. You asshole. Nope, no, I'm running. I'm running. Screw this. Oh, it's another. I got it. Oh, it's another steam pipe thing. Oh my lord. This platforming is going to be the end of it. Or the swinging end of it, I should say. Come on. <laughs> I'm trying to swipe that thing. Alright, here, let me kill this guy first. And it, unless he kills me first. There, I, I need to save. This game looks like the show. Oh yeah, it looks just like it. Well, that's because you're looking at the remaster graphics. Here's the originals. <laughs> it doesn't look so much like the show now. And especially since he's colored wrong. He's gray with red eyes. They made it look scary. It's, in fact, he should be purple, like this. Okay, good, I made it. Three master graphics do look good, though. I gotta admit. Ah! Has the game even explained who these robots are? Like, I don't think the game itself has explained much. It's like, oh, now he's awake. Bad guys. Bad guys everywhere. No, no, you're not gonna kill me. Nope. Yeah, there you go. I gotta put the show on my watch list. Yes, yes. Disney Plus. The whole thing's on there. Watch it. And it's like, it's one of those shows where you just, you never skip the theme song. 
Like, you skip the theme song, like, you're watching it wrong. <laughs> like, you'd never skip the Gargoyles theme. Let it play, let it play. And the credits. It's so atmospheric. Lord. I just want to grab onto that pole. It's not, it's not, all right, here, we got to go. We got to go back to the classic graphics. I, I can't swing from pole to pole with the regulars. Let's try this again. It's Eric Sting for the five. You should check out an upcoming indie game called Crow's Country. It's a fusion of Resident Evil Final Fantasy. What the hell? I'll check it. Crow's Country. I'll have to remember that. It sounds almost like Parasite Eve, because that's how Parasite Eve is always described. Parasite Eve. Where am I going now? I'm saving. Keep David's voice the main character. Yeah, Keep David's Goliath. Beautifully so. Oh, I didn't even know I could swing on that. <laughs> I swear, most of this game I've had, like, no health. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, again. Please leave me alone. Maybe it'll leave me alone enough to where I can actually get out of here. Go, go, go. Elevator ride. That's what it looks like. Whoa! That looks like something out of Contra. Alright, let's see. Update graphics. Um, I, I, I assume I can't hurt this thing. Uh, I just fell to my death. Actually, here, let's fall. Let's see if there's continues. Goliath is lost. Yo, there is no continues in this game. Oh, fuck that. It's one of those games? Oh, hell no. No, oh, no, we're, we're safe saved throughout this whole game. It's one of those games where there is no continues. It just slaps you in the face of the main man. How? You can't beat this without cheating. <laughs> so, I mean, what in the, or I should say you shouldn't. No continues? No, that's scummy, man. That's scummy. He can fly out as he die for fall damage? Yeah, that's a great question. How does he? Is this a good game so far or no? It's, it's not a bad game. It's just, it's dated. I, it, you gotta remember, this is an old Sega Genesis platformer. So it plays like an old Sega Genesis platform that was made in like 94 or 95. Like it, it's, it's dated and it shows its age. So that, that's why I don't, I don't think it's necessarily fair to call it a bad game, but it, it, it's, yeah, it shows its age. It doesn't have any modern day development standards whatsoever. <laughs> 90s gaming player game that are over difficult. Yeah. 100%. Even Ninja Gaiden NES didn't do that. Yeah, they at least gave you extra tries. Gargoyles are like, oh, fuck off. We don't want you anymore. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. What the hell? Do I, do I hit something? Are you a boss? Do I just have to wait you out? What the hell is... What the hell is that? What, what just happened? I, I think I got stuck in a rewind loop where I fell in the hole twice. No, I, I gotta save right when I get here. Oh wait, I think I did. The fuck? Alright. 
D DSP would hate this game. I'm confused how'd you die. I don't know. Join the club. I have no idea. Some BS happened, that's what. Oh look, I can I can hit the arms. Ah, uh, okay. I have to hit the little pieces when I can. See, but I, I get electrocuted. See, I gotta be careful rewinding in this part. Okay. Damn it. Alright, now I gotta somehow attach myself to this wall. What? It might. I don't know if I'm doing damage. <laughs> that kid's all doing damage. Matthias, thank you for five dollars. Big O's an anime about humans living in bubbled cities in a post-apocalyptic world that was destroyed by Giant Max. It's a noir thriller anime. It sounds interesting. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of the a lot of Japanese stuff. Speaking of Japanese, what does that new Godzilla come out? What, minus one or whatever? I kind of want to see that. And I don't want to watch the new uh, Godzilla, the, the American Godzilla show. The Monsterverse one or whatever. Ah! See, that lightning makes me, like, instantly fall. Show me your claws, man. Oh, this is a pain in the ass. Fuck. It keep it pokes me and I fall. Did I do it? idea if I'm doing this right. Like, the problem with this game, I think, like, these controls, like, it wasn't made, like, for precise hits and movement platform. It just wasn't. Like, everything you do feels delayed. Yeah. Alright, well, it's clear that's the weak spot. His wings don't help him. They haven't done a damn thing. Do I duck? Okay, if I duck, it can't hurt me. I'm staying down. Okay, cool. So it can't hurt me when I'm ducked. The remaster music's really good. Yeah. I do miss that Sega, like... That Sega personality, though. I mean, its health is going down, I think. Oh, how did that hit me? I was ducked. Oh, now it can hit me while I'm ducked? Damn, maybe... Okay, well, I'll duck a different way now. I'll duck over here. Asshole. This thing's almost dead too, man. Ah. It's gonna hit. It's gonna hit. No! I don't know where the safe zone is. Ah! 
The, like, I don't know how you're supposed to predict where those green energy balls are gonna, are gonna go. My lord. So stupid. Can I... There's no way to get away from them. I might wait for a price drop maybe Black Friday. Hide here. Okay, there. Come on, no, I'm so close, I'm so close. Ah, I got it, I got it. Yeah, we are doing a whole game in one hit victory mode. The curse was lifted, but ancient evil still haunts Goliath. The Eye of Odin has survived to become a weapon for a new kind of army. Level 4, subterranean tone. I'm gonna look up levels. Yeah, we're, we're on low health constantly, but like, yeah, there's no... I have to. And I have to save state, because if I don't... Title screen. Boom. <coughs> Let's see. Gargoyles. Sega. This is what, level 4? Let's see how many levels there are. There's only five, five levels? Oh yeah. So there's level four subterranean terror that has three stages. Level five, the forge is five stages. Shit. What is that? Wow, what do you look like? Yeah, it's a big robo, robo uh, monster. I hate being low on health the whole time like this, man. <laughs> I literally have no choice. Am I doing any damage? They make it more clear in the original graphics that I'm actually damaging it. In the updated graphics, it's hard to tell. Because it's not making it like... It doesn't sound like you're hurting it. Plan to play Starfield soon, but I really hate discussions surrounding that game. Ignore it. Ignore all that and just play the game. Who cares about the discussions? It's a great game. If you just play the game and ignore all the online stuff, you'll never be exposed to it. <laughs> doesn't matter. It doesn't affect the game. The enemy OG graphics reminds me of Vector Man. Yeah, it's got that like pseudo 3D look. Like Vector Man slash Rise of the Robots. Oh, wow, look, they got. Okay, look, see, so there's like. You get hit by random obstacles. How would you ever see that coming? Oh, see, this is some bullshit. Nah, this is one of those games where they encourage the players to use like invincibility cheat codes or level skips. If they even had them, because there's no way, like, with limited continues, how? Like, it'd be different if you have, if you had unlimited continues, you could just keep trying, fine. But, like, you're in limited continues and you're gonna have this kind of nonsense? That is, that, that's, that's wild. That's wild. Man. Look at that. I can't even do anything. I'm stuck. Because if I get up, I'm gonna get sniped. Chase is something. Okay. This is Gargoyles, the, the Everything Kills Goliath Adventures. I don't know if I should go that way. <laughs> Imagine Kingdom Hearts 4 is a Gargoyles level. They could technically, because it is Disney. Oh, I can't touch that at all? Nope, I can't. Alright then. Whoa. That was kind of cool how it transitioned. Into a green city. This train bit reminds me of Ren Shinobi before you fight the Spider- The Spider-Man boss? That game, man, there was so much copyright infringement in that game, it was ridiculous. 
Got Godzilla and freaking Batman in there too. Okay. There we go. Whoop! What hit me? What was that? Oh, there's something I have to jump over now? You would never be able to do this in I'm sorry, there is no no damage run of this game. If anyone did a no damage run of this game, they, they cheated. Something. There's no way. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Wait a minute. Do I even have to go in there? No, I don't. Cup! Oh. What? Oh, there's a hole there. Gargoyles the nerfed Goliath Adventures. Yeah, he's like mega strong too. Not this version. This weakling Goliath. This feels like a Batman animated game. Yeah, it does have that feel sort of. Like the, the Batman animated series game for Sega. Although the gameplay is very different, but when you switch to regular graphics, it's got that feel. I wonder what other games they're going to remaster, like other like Disney titles. You know which one I would like them to re uh, remaster? Some of the Mickey Mouse ones. Like some of the Mickey ones, like, and they've done it too. Like they had Castle of Illusion that they remastered. But some of the Mickey Mouse games were really fun. Uh, like, yeah, on Super Nintendo, one of the first games I ever rented on Super Nintendo was uh, Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse by Capcom. That was actually a really good game. I remember liking that one a lot. You can't get up or you get sniped. I gotta kill that thing instantly. How was your honeymoon? It was too long, man. <laughs> it was too long. Honestly, I miss streaming. And Natago gifted a membership to CLW. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I had a good time on the honeymoon. We both did. But it, it was just one of those situations where it's like... We both kind of wish we had planned it for like... Just like a couple days shorter. I felt like I was gone way too long. Like, I was actually getting that, like, streaming crave. <laughs> or that craving for streaming. And I wanted to get back already. Oh my god, that fucking thing. I need to kill it. Oh, it's gonna get me now. It's gonna get me now. Come on, man. <laughs> it's like the second I relent, the second I relent, I'm hit. Oh, no, rewind. There, I got that continue or the extra life or whatever. Let's save. I want to see a James Bond game collection. I love James Bond games. I want to stream a uh, 007 Bloodstone soonish. I like that game a lot. Oh shit, I just fell in that hole. I think I have to go up top. Oh, yep, here we go. Man, of course, first thing I do is get hit with an airborne obstacle. There's no warning when something's coming. I'm gonna have to get hit and then rewind. That's the only way to know. See? There's no indication whatsoever. Okay, here. God, I hate it. <clears throat> Everything or nothing? That was a good one, too. I think that one runs okay on the uh, Dolphin emulator. I gotta check it. Oh, wow. Look, insta-kill. What? I can hit it better with the regular graphics. So I can actually tell I'm hurting it. What a pain in the ass. Bad game design. It's outdated. Oh, cool. The Robo Gargoyles. Look at that. Hold on, friend. Look at you guys. 
What? Look, wait a minute, hold on. Look at the classic graphics. That doesn't look like them. What are those? That doesn't look anything like them. Gross. Yeah, but with the regular, with the remastered graphics, look, it's exactly them. Oh, they look so bad in the original graphics. That's a huge improvement right there. Man, with the original graphics, you really had to use your imagination <laughs> to tell what the hell these bad guys were. They look like Robo Cats almost. Yeah, see, look, look, this is a good opportunity. Oh, fuck. Look, look at the regular graphics. Look at that. How are those gargoyles? off screen. Xanatos. <laughs> I, got, I got run over by the train. What the fuck? Wait, what? Can I grab him? I don't know what that grab functions for. It doesn't do anything. It, 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 it doesn't work. Like, that's all it does. It doesn't work. Come on, Lex Luthor. God, that's such a cool suit. I love that suit, man. That red and black just looks so good. So you just gotta get... This is how you beat the boss in this game. You just gotta get them stuck in a... In a hit loop. <laughs> he exploded. The path to the Eye of Odin leads Goliath to the birthplace of the old rope. Couldn't read it. Level 5, the forge. Last uh, area, I guess. I guess it'll be a shorter stream tonight. I, I don't see the need to replay this game in the original graphics completely. It's... It, it's all the same shit. Like, like it looks like the, it looks uglier, right? There. <clears throat> Did these people even watch the show? I know they didn't even look like them. I, I would never recognize those those characters if, if it weren't for the remastered graphics. I would love a modern Gargoyles game. They've only had this game, right? Like, there's never been another Gargoyles game, has there? Was there even like an LCD little like uh, LCD game? I don't even think that they might have had a Gargoyles one. I, I don't think I've seen it though. Because they had a lot of Disney ones. Like back in the day. They even had Little Mermaid and shit. Little Mermaid was actually a good game. That was but that was a Capcom game. Capcom always made good Disney games. Little Mermaid on NES. I don't think I played the Sega version. This game actually came out... Oh, it came out before the show aired? It makes sense why it might be so, like, weird. This is a really weird game in terms of, uh... Just the design of it. Like, there's a lot of it that just not... Does not feel like the show. You know what should have... You know what they should have done, honestly? Uh, I think Gargoyles would have made a cool beat-em-up game. You just walk around the streets beating up a crime, fighting robots and stuff. And then you can pick your gargoyle. Like, had Konami or Capcom done a... Capcom could have done a, an arcade. A beat-em-up. I think gargoyles would have been awesome as a beat-em-up. So would Street Sharks, man. I, with Street Sharks, we didn't get anything. There was no Street Sharks video games. That always blew my mind. <laughs> I thought I was a little mermaid, so I realized I shoot that I'm not a mermaid. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're not the whole memory. <laughs> anything you want to be as long as you believe. I'm just gonna skip all these monsters about all the fight then. This reminds me of that level in Empire Strikes Back where you're playing as on solo on Cloud City and you have to fight that like generator. It looks like this. Like an open world gargoyles game where you can select different gargoyles and control New York. Oh my god, like an Arkham style one. How am I supposed to cross through there? I I can't cross through there without getting burned. What the fuck? I have no idea what to do. I, I, I don't know what they want. What do you want from me, game? Again, a confusing labyrinth. Maybe I can hang on to this? Oh, here we go. Don't blow me up, man. Like what Arkham Knights tried to be, but only good? Oh, you mean Gotham, Gotham Knights? I forgot about that game. I have played that quite a while. You know what? I'm gonna have to rewind all the way and like I, I think I have to jump to the other side. Which how are you supposed to know that? There's no way to know that until you just go, man. It's such bullshit. I lost a life doing it. switch these graphics. I, I can't, I'm telling you, like, when you have to grab onto stuff, it's harder with the remastered graphics, because the graphics placement of the actual pixels is not exactly one-to-one, -one, so that affects what you can and cannot grab onto. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. I don't know what the hell I just did. I'm saving. I literally kept mashing the jump button and he just kept like bouncing up the thing. Can you grab the bottom? I couldn't. I don't know how I got up here though exactly. <laughs> but I'm up here. That's all I care about. Yep, gotta switch. I gotta switch. See, look, the hitbox is a lot smaller. You can't tell with the remastered graphics. Because the actual enemy is a lot smaller than the remastered version looks. See, look, he's wider. So when it looks like I'm hitting him on the remastered version, I'm hitting air. But 
die. All right. Oh no! Hopefully. Ceiling. I gotta grab the ceiling. Okay. Here we go. Fuck off! Ah! Yes, that's the end of that part. Just realized Abbott from Nocturne's right discovered many revolutionaries at the time wanted to de-Christianize France. Yeah, well, that's probably about as historically accurate as that show is. I'm sure it didn't have some uh, crazy Russian vampire goddess either that was trying to rule the world. Whoa. Okay, wait, I'm flying this now? Yeah, this was definitely made before the show. Like someone asked earlier, did these people watch the show? Probably not. Does Goliath fly or does he glide? I think he just glides, right? I don't think they actually fly. I think that was one of the points that Santos made when he made the cyborg uh, uh, gargoyles. He was like, they, they fly, they don't need to glide. He made a comment about that. No idea if I'm going the right way. Not the slightest. I think this thing's just going wherever it wants. I don't think I'm controlling it. I think I'm just controlling this little platform. I think it's so hard to see with the original graphics. And I'm gonna get burned now. Everything. Oh, I got a duck. Oh my god, look at Goliath when he's duck. He looks terrifying. He looks like a skinny little horror movie monster. Look at him. Look at his face. He looks like a decrepit, like Nosferatu. How much is this? $15. So it is a budget title. They said they could only glide, but I mean, come on, they were flying straight up. Yeah, they did. But they can only glide when it's convenient for the plot. I think this game should have been a straight up port with modern updates instead of remaster. Yeah, I, I do agree with that, but I don't think it would have sold as well if it wasn't a remaster. Because a lot of people, like, even me, I was attracted to it because it was cool. I could play with both different graphic styles. But, yeah, there's a lot of, like, weird little hiccups you run into the gameplay because of it being a remaster. Like I showed you guys earlier, like some of the enemies you fight, if you're swinging at them, it looks like you're hitting them with the remaster graphics, but then when you switch back to the regular graphics, you're not actually hitting their hitbox because the, the, it's just they look different. They're different size. So there's going to be flaws anytime they just, instead of recreating it from the ground up, they just like reskin the graphics. That's all they did here is they just reskin the graphics. So it doesn't translate perfectly to everything. This guy, these are the guys I'm talking about. Look, look how big they look. Look how big they look when I'm hitting them. If I could get up right here. But look how, look, see that? Look, it looks like he's right on top of me right here. But when I switch back, he's actually more to the left. So these guys, you, you, you need the, the, the retro graphics to really know if you're hitting them. Taku, thank you for the five. You know, we need a Gargoyles and TMNT crossover. I'm shocked they've done a crossover. TMNT's crossover. There. Fucking ads bad enough they interrupt the stream, but they flip out the chat window too. Oh, do they really? See, I don't know what the ads look like now. I don't I don't see them on my side. But I know YouTube runs them inevitably now. I was messing around with all the settings and the way I have it right now I think is the best way to get. Unfortunately. They have uh, mostly stripped control away from creators. Bad move on my part, but or bad move in my opinion. Ah! Okay. 
staying right here. I'm staying duck. Don't hit me. No! <laughs> oh my god. I wonder, you only got one ad so far? You guys should get very little ads. I have it set to have under conservative uh, is what they label it as, which is the least amount of ads for a, as they put it, the more comfortable viewer experience. So, aside from that, I don't know exactly what it means, <laughs> but that's what it says. Why am I getting hurt by that? Oh, is it like super hot? No? Shit. Where am I supposed to go there? Oh, screw you. Oh, right here. My god, look how neon orange the whole screen is. The whole damn thing is like neon orange. Look at that. Looks like orange juice. Fanta. Huh. <sighs> It's so distracting how like neon everything is. It just all blends in. But, oh, look at this. This is way more comfortable. Hold on. Let's keep it like this. Yeah, it looks way more comfortable visually. Yeah, it's a lot better. Holy shit. That was a lot better. Temporarily. Ah. God. It'd be nice if YouTube allowed the creator play ads on their on their own and sure you might have so many per stream you can prioritize them during during break. You, well <clears throat> they do have a um, there is an option for that. It's not perfect though. I, that's why I don't get bothered with it. There's an option where the creator gets to choose where to run an ad, but you have to like stop in the middle of the stream and run the ad like, that's not even anything I want to worry about. But like, cause I don't, you know, cause I don't always take breaks either. So it's like, if I get up at a bathroom break, sure, then, you know, you just hit that. But there's like a required amount that they have to run and everything. So there's no, like I said, there's no perfect option. Like they should have done it where they had it before, where the creator just decide if they want ads on the stream while it's live at all. Like why, why do we have to have them live on stream at all? I run ads on the streams after the stream's over and it's no longer live. Cause at that point it's just a video. But now they, 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 they force the creators by by giving them a bunch of shitty options, they force us to pick the least shitty one. So by just like letting them have control over the ads basically. It's the same shit that uh, Twitch got criticized for doing. And now it's the norm on, on Twitch. So of course YouTube eventually just kind of adopted whatever Twitch was doing. They basically saw it and they're like, oh, well Twitch survived, so are we. Which they will, you know. But, which in theory that's an increase in revenue for creators too but I'm um, not even noticeable for most, for most people it's just not even noticeable to the point where it's not even worth it so yeah like why bother who's really in charge of YouTube added such execs for Google yeah I mean that, that's true 100% it's Google executives that run the show that answer to shareholders with, what's the company name? I think ABC Holdings or something. Do you need to climb up the right side of the flamethrower? I have no idea. See, look, I can do this. But, like... Look, see, but there's a wall there. Like, I don't fit. Like, I squeezed my way through on the... You know what? Hold on. Let's go to the regular graphics see if it's clear. <coughs> Still. Hmm. I wish I could climb the bottom of it. I have no 
no idea. Sarah, thank you for the five. Would you ever consider streaming on TikTok? <clears throat> Would I ever? If it's worth it, sure. Uh, as of right now, I don't really see the benefit. I don't even think I'm monetized on TikTok. I have no idea. But yeah, it, it's TikTok's weird though, because it's like here we have this whole setup, right? On TikTok, it's all vertical. So like my whole setup would have to change. I, I hate I and I hate how shorts are vertical too. I, I don't like the whole vertical thing. Oh my god. I can't I've been trying to get under it the whole time and I haven't been able to. So alright, so to get under so that's how you do it. To get under you have to hold climb to the side and hold hold down. <coughs> Shit, at least now we know. So yeah, when I <laughs> When I got through the first one, it was a fluke. I shouldn't have been able to get through. Wait, now how do I how do I reclimb on the other side? Then? God, it's so wonky. Yeah, you have to hold downwards and then flip, and then manually flip back. Oh no, it, it is not easy to do. So you have to real quick, like, jump off and climb on the side again. God, that's so wonky. What? Okay, down again. This is nuts. Yeah, this is stupid, man. So confusing. Holy shit. <laughs> what child figured that out? I have no idea, man. I have no idea. It's like the barrel Sonic 3 and Knuckles, yeah. Oh. Gold ones? Here. Regular. It's like a respawn machine of some sort. Curse these outdated game designs to oblivion. Back to the pits that spawned you. I think it should, uh, I think it should keep spawning them. I guess. Oh. I think I broke it. How did I do that? What how did, I don't know how I broke it. Oh, I can dash it. Would you rather play this or Superman 64? This in a heartbeat. <laughs> this is somewhat competent. Outdated, but somewhat competent. Superman 64 is the epitome of incompetence when it comes to video game design. Don't know how I climbed up there. What? What happened? God, man, I'm just hauling ass. I'm, I'm, I'm scrolling through all this. This is nuts. There. What the hell was that? Oh, there's like grinders there now. Meat grinders. Climb, Goliath. Climb. Bash. Bash, Goliath. Oh, what the fuck? No, I gotta kill that. I hate you! Uh, fuck. There. Uh oh. Can I bash it? No? What the hell, man? 
Oh, lord. Here. I'm trying to dash! How am I supposed to bash that thing if I can't run? Because that I know if it's a bash, I have to double tap. But there's no room for me to... I don't know how to get through there. Did you play this or Legend of Zelda 2? Zelda... Zelda 2. I don't particularly like Zelda 2, to be honest. But it is a better game than this, I have to say. I don't know how to bash that one. Like, I need, I need room to run. I don't know why it keeps pushing me, like... When I hit that wall, look, it pushes me back. It's like there's an... Is there something there? It's like there's an invisible wall there or something. Right, right there. It keeps pushing me. Oh, no, I hate this thing. I have one. Is there a button combination? Like a Hadouken? I got a dash. There's no room. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Can I jump over? Let me look at the computer. There's gotta be a way I could way I could dash without having to run. This game or Aquaman Battle for Atlanta? No, Aquaman's way worse than this. Let's see. Throw, jump. That's it. Like, there's no... That, that's all the controls. I can't cross through without breaking this thing. Can you jump over the top? No. Look. This has got the flamethrowers. This, right here, I can't. It's got the wires. There's no way. Like, I have to be able to dash so I can do my charge and I can break it. But I can't do the charge. It, it, there's no. There's not enough room here for me to do it. Maybe if I start here? Oh, I'm saving some. I somehow pressed at or square at the perfect time, and it did it. That was complete luck and nonsense. Whatever, dude. Charge. Yeah, see, you have to run to do that. Oh, shit! <laughs> there he goes. Oh, I gotta climb the ceiling. I got it. What a pain in the ass. Did you know AVGN finally beat Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? I saw that. I saw his review. You know, AVGN's been doing some really good videos lately because they feel like classic AVGN again. They don't feel like these overproduced, like, screen wave media productions. Like, they're actually, um, just fun. Just a guy in his basement making videos. Which was the original appeal. I gotta break that machine. There, broke it. Screw you now. And look at that. I'm I'm at zero lives. 
and almost dead. Like, this game, there's no way. You can't do this shit without save stating. No fucking way. I don't know how I reached that. The force behind the evil onslaught is revealed, Demona. Surprise. With the Eye of Odin in her control, Demona is nearly invincible. Oh, I'm definitely not. But Goliath knows he must stop her. Somehow that looks nothing like her either. I think this is the final boss, I guess. Let's see what it looks like, classic graphics. I've been watching all Nostalgia Critic videos and seeing him do it by himself as treat, but nowadays it's too clean and produced. Yeah, I've, I, didn't, I never got into his videos. Um, yeah, it, it's always better when it's just raw and just some dude in his basement, like, talking, you know? I like those kind of videos. Castlevania Legends getting added to Nintendo. Oh, cool. I like Castlevania Legends. There's Demona. The, the eyeball. I have no health. Look at this. How am I supposed to win this fight? This is going to be bad. What? What does that look like normally? That's kind of cool enemy design. <laughs> We're gonna have to spam like crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, come on! Now I gotta load my save state. See if I didn't save state. Guess what happens now? Guess. Title screen. Screw this game. No, no, you're not getting me. Not getting me. I'm gonna have to save like after every time I kill an enemy. I, I don't have, I have zero like, lives and like no help. I can't, there's no way. Yeah, no, this is one of the classic graphics enemies. I gotta do some classic graphics. So I know I'm actually hitting it. It's an enormous difference. Fight me! Can't afford that. <laughs> Here. <sighs> what a pain in the ass. What? Alright, now I need to get it over here. Nah, it's not moving from over there. There. I wonder if I have to fight it. I wonder if I can just... I wonder if I can just leave. Dun, 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 dun. Fuck. Oh, I don't even think I have to fight it. Ooh, look at that. Hold on. What? <laughs> There were spikes on the side. Maybe I do have to fight it. Oh, here we go. Oh no, there's spikes. There's spikes. Suspect means it won't be ported to other consoles. Cast me in the Legends? Probably not. I mean, although I think it should be in one of the collections, though. It really should. Who cares if not, can I? Can't even touch the spike. I, I gotta kill that thing, I think. The 
problem is it's hitting me, it's getting closer. See, that sucks, man. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> this is so stupid. This is so stupid. Like, if they could just give me a continue, just so I could start there. Like, just let me start there. Instead, I had to worry about save stating it. Alright, there. I didn't get hit. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hit them a couple times, not get hit, save, rinse, and repeat. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cheese this game into oblivion. Walk over here, puppy. <laughs> you died. And no elf pickups after each one. Yeah, well, not even after a new level. It's just you're screwed. Whatever you have, it's what you get. Oh, there. <laughs> Having to resort to such crap to, to, to get through this old shit. Fire Call Legends was the only Game Boy title left off the Origins collection. Yeah, it was. Because they have uh, the adventure and uh, Belmont's Revenge. So our guerrilla tactics, yeah, that's what we have to resort to. This is a way to uh, have you like have a final area without just fighting a boss, you know. I took a hit. I don't want to take a hit. Can't even tell if I'm hitting it. <clears throat> it's so hard to tell when you're hitting it and you're not hitting it. You ready for Halloween streams in November? Yeah, I got several planned. But well, we're just gonna run through November and December with uh I guess it'll be a thanks killing thanks killing uh, Halloween holiday, creepy Christmas, creature Christmas, I don't know, something, there we go, we got one of them, because there's really no Christmas games, you know, although we are going to have another, <laughs> unfortunately, another Star Wars holiday special stream, and that night we will also be playing Star Wars NES, so... We see Darth Vader turn into a, a, a fucking scorpion. Are you gonna watch It's a Wonderful Knife? What the hell is that? Is that a movie? What is that? I do want to watch a Thanksgiving horror movie though. That looks awesome. Fuck. Blythe uppercut. All right, save. <laughs> Again, how? Well, to be fair, we did put it on hard, but still, like, what kids were, were playing this crap and running through it like this without saving? It's nuts. There's no way. Not without continues. I just have to keep doing that. The hell? There's more. It just keeps going, man. It's a wonderful knife. It's a movie like it's a wonderful life. Wait, why was the killer that wears white, ghostly, angelic clothing? When did that come out? Is that a new movie or like it came out a while ago? I never heard of it. Tigers. Slap. You imagine this game back in the day, though, like with these graphics. If we had seen this game back then with these graphics, it would we would have been amazed. 
Because th this looks, I mean, it looks exactly like the cartoon. That's one thing I gotta give him props for. They did a good job, like, making it look just like it. I gotta make sure I'm hitting him. What games count as a Christmas game? I have no idea. Like, anyone have any games out there that you think, like, besides the obvious, like, you know, uh, a Grinch stole Christmas game? Like, yeah. Duh. You know what would be a good Christmas game to stream? I think I might stream it because I've never played it. Has anyone played The Nightmare Before Christmas on PS2? There was a game. I wonder, is that any good? Has anyone played it? But it was like it was like Oogie's Revenge or something like that. That might be cool. That's like a Halloween slash Christmas movie. Sega Genesis would explode if the game card had these graphics. I know. The second they turn on the console, like the whole like street gets nuked. The whole block is just a crater. Arkham Origins Christmas game? You were right, but I already did that one. And I think I did do that one during Christmas time, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, now Demona's gonna get it. That bitch. <laughs> Traitor. Look at her so angry up there. Look at that. She's menacing. Please, you were my girlfriend once, Demona. I'm thinking again, the Nightmare Before Christmas game on PS2 and stream it. Yeah, I think I will. I think I'll. I'll I gotta mess around with the uh, Steam Deck, get the emulators on there, because I want to stream the emulators off there. Whoa. Let's see what that looks like before. Uh. It's not doing anything. Oh shit! It gave her a laser cannon? So this artifact gives her lasers. Oops. I fell down the hole. Instant, insta death. Did it say Parasite Eve? That takes place during Christmas? Save right here. Ah, so I assume the weak spot is the Eye of Odin over here. Yeah, that's a weak spot. Oh my god. Damn that pit, man. So stupid. For Christmas season, I'm streaming Clay Fighters and Mr. Frosty. <laughs> I love it. I love uh, Clay Fighter. I'm streaming Batman Returns on SNES. That's a good one. And for horror, I'm streaming Until Dawn says the snowy cabin setting. Actually, I'll probably end up streaming Until Dawn. Because I was going to do that last year for Halloween. So I'm doing all my Halloween stuff like during this holiday season. It'll probably be around Christmas time when it gets to Until Dawn. I want to do that and the quarry. Because I downloaded that last year to stream it too and I never did. And Saw 2. <laughs> it's going to be shit, but we're going to do it. We're gonna do it and we're gonna struggle all the way. It must be defeated though. I wonder how many times I have to hit this thing. <clears throat> Try to tell Fabian to use the test tubes of Batman Returns. He had no clue what anyone was talking about. What test tubes? I don't even remember that. You're talking about the beat-em-up? Yeah, because we did the beat-em-up. We did the NES and SNES one, right? I think we did both. The NES one, I remember how hard that game was. That sh that that rocked my shit when I was a kid. I couldn't beat it. The Thing game? Oh, The Thing. That's a good one. And that's a good mix of horror, too. I Yeah. 
that yeah, I've been wanting to stream that one too. We've been talking about it forever. So I assume if I keep doing this, eventually the bad guy will fall. Let's see if we do this without saving. I might be able to get a flawless victory here. Hold on. It's kind of easy if this is all you have to do. I hope so. I'm d ah! Devota! Screw you. I want to change to the regular graphics, but I'm up here. So I am hitting it. Because the sound effect's different, yeah. Damn. Oh, did I, did I win? That was starting to hurt my thumb. Wait, wait, wait. Let's save. Fuck it, I'm saving. <laughs> Woo! Hell? How am I supposed to hit her? What? Oh, good thing I saved! Such a stupid man, insta kill. Damn. So you want to screw Demona? Well, Goliath did. For sure. For a while, at least. Until she was like, hey, I'm a bad guy now. Sorry, dude. What the fuck is this? What is this ridiculousness? Oh. Wait, she's over there. <laughs> I don't know if I can hit her at this point. I have no idea. Why else she called Demona? Cause it's a cool bad. She said the humans named her Demona. That's a cool name though. The huge bitch. <laughs> you lose. Screw you. All right. Oh, that's all I gotta do. It's hard, it's hard to know where she's gonna land, though. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I gotta figure this out. Because I, I, I don't even know, like... It, it's hard to know, like, how far, I, how close I have to be to make contact with her. Fuck. There. I think right here. I'm just gonna stay right here. Oh, fuck. Nope. Just set the wall on fire. How can I tell when I can hit her? I have no idea how to tell, like, when I can actually hit her. Macbeth named her, didn't he? I don't know. I thought she named herself because she. I remember when she first meets Goliath again, when he realized she's a bad guy. Now she makes the comment that the, the humans uh, named her, gave her a new name, Demona. I think it's in one of the first couple episodes. It's like I get a hit every once in a while if I get lucky. And I can't rewind once I hit this dumbass screen. I have to go to the menu and then hit load. Is Keith David in the show? Keith David is the main character. He's Goliath and he's got the, the he's got a magical voice. 
I love Keith David. And the Arbiter in Halo. <laughs> How do you know where she's gonna land? Show, shows now priority to watch. Yes, if you have Disney Plus, I don't know why you haven't started watching already. It's so good. It's better than this game. I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's way better than this game. Oh, I hit her again. There we go. No. Save. <clears throat> Julia Latrice, hopefully I see you on uh, Wednesday. We're doing a RoboCop, the new, the new RoboCop, Rogue City. Hopefully it's good. Either way, it will be a, a fun evening. Technically, new month of streaming. This is the last day of the stream, last stream of October. <laughs> ah! Ah! God. <laughs> I'm so tired of this. Let me skip this screen, at least. You can't do anything once you hit the screen. So, okay, so I can't stay on that platform. Oh! Is this the Dark Souls of 90s gaming? No, 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 no. Battletoads. You have the Dark Souls gaming, you play Battletoads. There, there's no... <laughs> there's no comparison to Battletoads. That is the true test of uh, insanity and patience. See, I don't know if she can hurt me when she's on the wall, like when she's just still. Let me put on the original. See, it's not clear how close I have to get. Yeah, see, I'm not I'm not sure. I am not sure at all how I've been hitting her this whole time. I have no idea. So awful. See, I just have to get lucky and like hit her mid-air, I guess. See, I, I could have hit her right there. Wait, I'm gonna try hit her mid-air. It's so delayed. <sighs> he jumps like he's got his like loincloth filled with crap. <sighs> Everything's so delayed. I can't I can't do it accurately. I think it's easier without the, you know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna stay in the middle platform where she crisscrosses. I'm gonna jump and swipe real quick and hope I get lucky. Cause I can't, uh, if I double jump, it takes too long. <clears throat> you ready for Invincible season two? Oh, that's coming next week? I didn't even know that. I've been watching that boys show, uh, Gen V. It's all right. I like the boys a lot better though.
That show's very X-Men, though. Let's see, if I rewind, I know where she's gonna come from. <laughs> and I'm gonna be doing it, too. What the fuck? I know where you're coming from, Timona. Garbage. This is a pain in the ass. You can cheese her the rewind and go where she's gonna land a hit her. Yeah, that's what I was doing for a little while until I got knocked into the hole. I'm gonna have to say I'm gonna save after each hit. See, that's what I have to do. I have to save after each hit. <laughs> she thought she, was, she did see through my bullshit. She did. That is, that is factually true. See, I still gotta be careful, though. You're gonna rewind. Because she'll do some shit like that. When I hit her, she throws the little fireballs on the floor. And, I, and they can hurt me. All right, save, save. Now where is she? Oh no, did it glitch? Oh, God, please, no. Who said that? Who said it earlier about the game getting softlocked? Rogue, was that you? What happened? Let me die. You put it out there. You said that the game was going to get softlocked. Or was it, it was you, Michael? Someone said it. Someone said earlier that the damn game that I'm going to softlock it somehow. Where is she? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think she's back. I think she's back. What is happening? You guys saw that, right? You guys saw the fire? <laughs> Zamoda's taking a note from Nobi there. No, she has to be... She can't just leave the fight. This, this is Superman 64 all over. I should have made a backup save. Yeah, I know. I should have made multiple saves. The final boss doesn't want to participate. Let's switch back to regular. What happens if I hit restart? Oh, it restarts the whole game! left she didn't want to play she didn't want to play the game anymore she literally just left the screen and didn't come back uh with this i have to officially tell you guys to not spend your money on this <laughs> this should never happen in a video game How all right maybe there's a cheat code we can put in that'll take us to the final battle at least so we can finish it Let's see, gargoyles. This is such bullshit. Alright, let's look at this. Game facts. 
it legal? Seems like someone's getting sued. Let's see. <laughs> legal. DisneyTermsOfUse.com. Who do I write a letter to? All right, gar gargles for Sega Genesis. Let's see what this says. Um, cheats. Dedication screens. Energy regen fireballs. What? You can throw fireballs? Wait a minute. Pause the game and press A B. Wait a minute. I gotta see this. I can't do this because I'm on. This won't work on the remaster because when I hit one of the buttons, it unpauses. It's not like the Sega. Flying? You can fly also. You can fly. And. Wait, you get additional abilities with cheat codes. What the fuck was that? What was that? What? What is happening right now? I feel like I'm losing my mind. All right, there's flying and fireballs. You can fly and you can shoot fireballs in this game. Level skip, reboot the game. Wow, there's a code to reboot the game. They knew it was broken. What were those fireballs? There has to be a way to make her appear. Well, cheat codes make the game better. I don't think they work on the remastered version, though. Because, like I said, uh, they require you to press buttons on the pause screen. And when you press a button like X, it's going to unpause it. On the Sega version, it wouldn't. The cheat code fireball? I didn't put the cheat code in, though. It, would, it didn't let me. That's pu you punish for safe stating on the bot's death animation? Well, no, she's not even dead. She still has help. She was in the middle of flying. She just decided to leave. This is so stupid. I'm gonna have to load up the ending on YouTube. <laughs> just like, this is exactly what happened with Superman 64. How does this happen to me? Why is it that every game I touch, all the glitches and bugs come out? I'm not doing anything, I'm just playing it. With the tools given to me. Maybe I can make the fireballs appear. Robocop Rogue City better not have problems. I'll be, I'll, I'll be done gaming after that. I'll be like, that's it. I'm done with video games. <laughs> she she dipped out, man. She said, she said, fuck this game. Oh look, I hear something. Why does that happen all of a sudden? Is there I I'm th you know what I'm thinking of doing? I'm thinking of just uh, quitting out, loading up the original game because that'll boot me into the Sega version, and I'm assuming the pause menu will be the Sega pause menu. If that's the case, I can do the level select cheat. Finally been out cheesed by the game. Well, oh, Superman out cheesed me too. It's ridiculous, man. I paid fifteen dollars for a game that will not allow me to complete it. Like, I'm in the last boss, and the last boss doesn't want to be part of this. Fifteen dollars. I want my money back. Yeah, I. I guess. I guess. Yeah, we're just gonna have to quit out. There's, there's no other option. Why not quit the game and then return back to it? Well, it doesn't matter. It's going to load. If I quit the game, it's going to load right back into that save state. Which is this right here. It, it, it's not the sign. Like, that's a huge bug. Like, it, it, it's a game-breaking bug. Like, right there in the final battle of the game. Someone else has to have experienced this. Alright, let, let, let's, let's, let's see how this is. Let's restart original. See, that boots you into the Sega version. 
Well, the RoboCop mm -hmm. game is by same devs as Terminator Resistance. That game had issues on day one, so I expect some bugs probably. Let's see, look. All right. Let's see, this is going to be a problem. Because the game, it starts you off. Look, see the pause menu, it's the same thing. The pause menu goes to the remaster pause menu, which won't let you do the cheat codes. I mean, I'll type them in. Let's see. Well, I'll type them in anyway, whether the game unpaused or not. Let's see if it works. I don't think it will, though. Oh, get out of my face. Let's see if I could just, like, if it would just let me pause, like, the Sega game. All right, let's 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 see what this is. Press start to pause and enter A B. All right. A B right A C A down A B right A. Not working. Reboot the game. Let's try one of the smaller codes. Fireballs, pause the game. A, B, right, A, C, A, down, A, B. No, see, you have to stay paused. The remaster basically kills the cheat codes. Shit! <laughs> Made Demono over up here now. Well, I'm gonna look that up on YouTube. We, we can't beat it. Literally can't beat the game. <laughs> God, man. I have the worst luck when it comes to game bugs. I swear, I do have the glitch gremlin in my console. Running around. It's ridiculous. So yeah, in its current state, I don't recommend this game. And I don't even think there's going to be an update. Because do they really care about like a little Sega Genesis remaster? I don't think so. Alright, Gargoyles... Yo, I need to tag, like, these developers on Twitter or something with this clip, because that, that's crazy. Gargoyles Remastered. Alright. Well, someone's beating it. Oh, my God. I, I don't know what video this is, but one of the first videos that pops up. Gargoyles Remastered Review. Nostalgically Frustrating. Is there a gameplay video for this? I'm seeing gameplay videos for the original game, not... Okay, wait, here's one from... What channel is this? Quing? Quing? Quing's Let's Plays? Alright, final boss. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll load up this one here. I just gotta put, pop it up on the screen real quick. Good. Yeah, I'm trying to load this up just like Superman. Let's do... Okay. There, you guys see that? Let me turn off the audio for mine. Turn on the desktop audio. All right, let, let's let's watch this one real quick. All right, you guys can see it, right? It's kind of off screen, but hang on, I gotta turn on the volume here. It's so dumb that we gotta do this. You guys see it here, right? Come on. Oh, this is someone streaming it, so they're talking. Come on. There. So shout out to what channel is this again? Quing. Quing's Let's Plays. The game wouldn't let me attack. Oh wow. Well. Hold on. Let me. I'm trying to get it centered real quick. Still at it. Oh, Grant, you missed it. We had a game-breaking glitch. The final boss just disappeared off the screen. Wanted nothing to do with the situation. They they left. <laughs> Literally, the boss wanted nothing to do with the rest of the game. 
Hold on, I'm trying to get this shit centered here. So it's better if I bring it up on my other monitor here. You know, it would have been nice if I can actually uh, beat the game myself. That would have been very nice. If the game had just allowed me to, to, to play it. I would have been very grateful for that. Okay. God, see, it, it's hard when you have multiple monitors... Because when you try to do these full screen things, sometimes try switching it with different monitors. Got to resize it real quick. Here. It's like super Come zoomed on. in. Let's go, let's go. This person was probably as frustrated as I was. Why is it so big? What she said she's not dying so I'm trying to move my mouth I'm trying to grab the corners to resize it and my mouse isn't cooperating there you go almost got it grab the corners mouse Oops. there Dude, was having the same frustration I was. No. Died again. All right, let's fast forward here. Okay. No, wait, that's the ending? Oh, no, no. The ending can't just be a screenshot. Hold on. Hit left. Yes! Demona and the Eye of Odin have been defeated. And the ancient Sentinel has become a new hero. Hooray. That's the ending? That's as bad as Superman 64's this is ending. Not a good remaster. <laughs> he literally just said this is not a good remaster. Meh. Wow. Wow. So that's the ending that you were all uh, robbed of. Whatever that was. It was just. Literally, you don't. <laughs> you don't even see the boss die. It just cuts to a screenshot of Goliath flying in the air, and it says something about him being a new hero. <sighs> um, yeah. Uh, that's the game. It's over. I, I can't. I can't. I can't do anything about it. it it's. It's locked. Um, I don't recommend it. I get it's only fifteen dollars. Um, fuck it, don't waste your money on this. You know what you, what you want to do instead, for free, emulate the original Sega Genesis version if you really want to play this game. <laughs> do that. <laughs> it's probably a better experience, because a, a lot of the animations from the enemies are all off-center because of the graphics versus the actual pixels that are on the screen. Uh, it broke. I don't know if I'm the only person on the planet that happened to, to experience this glitch with the exact sequence of events that we did, but this shouldn't happen at all. Uh, final mm. boss checked out. Don't waste your money on this. It sucks. Play the original Sega version. It's still an outdated platformer, but at, at least it, it, it functions. Here. Let's end it this way. <laughs> reported to the remastered devs on Twitter. Oh yeah, no, I'm going to. Cuz that's I had a game breaking glitch with the well, it wasn't game breaking with the mummy. Actually, they reached out to me cuz they saw my review for the mummy demastered and I mentioned the glitch. It wasn't game breaking. It was actually to the player's benefit, but there was a glitch where uh that that I happened to discover where uh the final boss uh, they figured out what triggered it. I still don't know exactly what the trigger was, but apparently so in my gameplay Something had triggered the final boss to stop attacking. So she just stand, she stood there. And I was just wailing on the final boss, and the final boss was doing nothing. So they, they I sent them all my raw footage, and they fixed it. So I, maybe I'll reach out to them, too. 
Although I don't know how many people care about this game, but... And Mayo, thank you for the five. We know it was your fault. The curse remains, apparently. The, two games in a row. Two games in a row that broke. Superman 64, softlog. This, softlog. Robocop Rogue City, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do something, man. You gotta work. You gotta work right. Oh, man. But yeah, that's the game. Save your 15 bucks, people. Don't worry about it. Just watch the stream and complain with me. But we'll cut it there. I'm going to take my kid trick-or-treating tomorrow. And then Wednesday. Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Again, for those that came in later, new schedule. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, 7 p.m. That's our streams right now. At least through the holiday season. And from there, we'll, we'll see how it all worked. And then make go 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 from there, make further changes, or stick with it. We'll see. But yeah, uh, RoboCop Rogue City stream number one. We're gonna knock that on Wednesday. So hopefully I see you guys there. And uh, yeah, otherwise everyone have a have a good Halloween. Whatever you decide to do, be safe out there. Uh, don't blow out pumpkins or Halloween decorations. Don't put them away before Halloween is over. Check your candy. You gotta follow the rules of Halloween, or else Sam. And trick or treat is going to come get you. So yes, follow the rules <laughs> and be safe. Thank you, everyone. I will see you Wednesday. Screw this game. <laughs>